Well, hello again, and welcome back to the second part of our series on how to eat a healthier diet. I'm Kike, and in our first video, we talked about portions and how to use my plate to create balanced and nutritious diets. Now, we also talked a bit about reading labels, and today you will become label reading experts, both at home and at the grocery store. In a nutshell, you can use food labels to make healthier food choices when you compare the nutritional content of similar foods. If the old saying is true, we are what we eat, then not only are we eating the wrong foods, but as we learned in my plate, we're eating more than 300 calories per day than we should. We also showed you that even though the calories listed on a label are for one serving, Many times, you are given two, three, or more servings. We clearly need a game plan, and the first step is how to read a label. Look, our goal as parents and healthy adults is to provide food that has less fat, less sugar, less salt, and is the right portion. So first, let's look at the ingredients at the bottom of the label. Ingredients are listed in order by weight. So if any sugars are listed in the first few ingredients, then there is a lot of sugar in this product. And I saw there is a lot of sugar in this juice. Corn sweeteners, brown sugar, malt syrup, brown rice syrup. I also like to watch out for words ending in os, such as fructose, dextrose, sucrose, or glucose. While we're in the kitchen, let's do a quick tutorial of what we're going to compare at the store. I have a list on my phone to help me out. What is a serving size? What's the calorie count? What kind of fats are there? How much sodium or salt does it have? What's the fiber content? How much sugar is included? Is this a good source of vitamins and minerals? Are there whole grains? Are unhealthy fats hiding in the ingredients? Remember, solid fats and sugars provide no nutrients and are considered empty calories. Are we ready to head to the store? Let's go. I don't know about you, but my kids eat a lot of cereal. And if you pick the right cereal, you have an easy, healthy breakfast food and snack food. So the first thing I'll do is check the serving size so I know what is in one serving. If I check the ingredients on this cereal, I see a lot of not so great stuff. Oof. Look at all this sugar and the different types of sugar. This is really going to affect the calorie count. Yep, there it is. A lot of calories from added sugars. Now, when I look at the fats, I'm seeing saturated and trans fat rather than unsaturated fats. Hmm, not good. And look, I'm not seeing any iron and B vitamins and this is mostly for my kids, so I'm not happy with that. I also want to see at least three grams of fiber, and this only has one gram. I know the kids love this cereal, but I'm going to have to pick something else. Now, let's compare this label with the one I just read. So first I make sure I know what one serving is. Oh wow, look at this. I'm already seeing that this is a better choice. Calories are a bit higher, but I see these are healthy calories from whole grains as opposed to empty calories. The bad fats are lower and the good fats are higher. Good fiber content with whole grains and look where sugar is listed in the ingredients. Nice. I see vitamins and minerals and not a lot of salt. Didn't I say you would become a label reading expert by the end of this video? All right, so here are my 10 tips to help you read labels and make the right choices for a healthy diet. Number one, remember, nutrition facts label information is based on one serving, but many packages contain more. Two, calories count, so pay attention to the amount. Fat-free doesn't mean calorie-free, I wish. Three, look for foods that are rich in these nutrients, vitamin A, C, calcium, and iron. Four, the percentage daily value is a key to a balanced diet. This will help you determine if a food is high or low in a nutrient. As a guideline, 5% or less is low, and 20% or more is high. Five, 
Know your fats. Know the difference between saturated fat, trans fat, and cholesterol. Consume as little as possible of these types of fats. Six, look for reduced sodium amounts. Limit sodium to help reduce the risk of high blood pressure. Seven, reach for healthy carbohydrates. I know the sugars are calling you, but reach for fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains. Which leads me to number eight. Look for foods high in whole grains, whole wheat, brown rice, or even quinoa. I like to have my kids pick a new grain to try every month. Nine, avoid foods with added sugars. Sucrose, glucose, fructose, corn or maple syrup. I know we love these sweets, but we don't need the empty calories. 10, keep fats and cholesterol at 5% and aim for 20% or more for fiber, vitamins, and minerals. So I'm pretty much ready to plan my meals and even start cooking. I know I have healthy ingredients to create a balanced and tasty meal. I'll be seeing you and we'll start planning that next dinner. I'm Kike, and let's eat right and live well.